Welcome back. Mastering Mod Organizer 2. I'm ADH Decent. Let's get stuck in. Profiles versus Instances. In the small drop down window above the left hand pane, you will see the profile title followed by the name of your current profile. In this case, mine is called Default. When you click on Manage, a small window will appear showing your existing profiles and the option to create along with name and delete. Here you can set up a new profile if you want to try certain mods or different themes without having an impact on your current mod setup. You may have also seen upon loading that it prompts you with the option to create a new instance. So what are the differences between instances and profiles? Profiles. With profiles, you don't need to reinstall mods you have already installed. They have already been downloaded and installed. You can simply select or deselect the mods you wish to use. The mods will already be organized as they were there with your first profile. If, on the off chance, you wish to use mods that have been updated and cannot be used with your existing setup, you can do so on your second profile by installing the updated version and deselecting the outdated version. That way, the outdated version is still in your mod library and can still be used with your other profile. One downside with profiles will be managing the compatibility patches you have. Let's say you have a patch for two mods on your default and only choose one of those mods on your second profile. The compatibility patch will also need to be removed as you no longer use both mods. And if you don't keep track of the patches you have, you might forget it's installed or even exists, which can cause errors and crash to desktop. In the same way, any application tool that alters a mod will alter it for all profiles as they use the same downloaded file. Instances. With instances, you are creating an entirely different setup through the same application as if you had two separate versions of that application installed. Think of it more as an account on its own. Each version has its own applications, data and mod installs meaning you have a peace of mind knowing that you can make as many errors and mistakes in one instance without damaging the other. So, you are somewhat safe from damaging a stable mod build if it is an entirely separate instance. This does mean you will have to download and install all mods again, which can be a little frustrating and time consuming. And if you don't have a lot of disk space, this could pose a potential issue. You will also need to add all of the applications again which may take even more time and effort than the mods would. To put it in simple terms, choose profiles or instances depending on how much of a different setup you are looking for. If you want to make small, minor changes with a few additional mods here and there, choose a new profile as it will save you time reinstalling the mods and applications. If, however, you are looking for an entirely different modded game, may be including different character animations and presets, or a selection of overhauls, choose a new instance. Just be sure you have the disk space for it. Perfect time for a brew. In the next video, we will look at applications and Nexus integration. I'll see you there.